welcome to Kung Fu Dog Live tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how we're going to train in the up cut, up cut punch in Kung Fu. So before we practice the up cut, let's understand a little bit more why we do the up cut. Basically, you punch from the ground upward, upward, right? So the power is coming from the ground. Think about you, the arm. So you bring some heavy stuff. From here is more strength, more power. Instead of this. So the traveling, the body mechanically is different. So basically when you punch from ground, the arm basically upward like this. During the punch, you can be found is up ground here or 45 down the no, there and the other is the across see the across up the up cut is most for close combat so when we close together each time you know uh, you imagine this is the people yeah when you close you don't have room or space you can throw your arm over real fast your punch only this rule how can you find the power as soon as possible so this one is best to use up cut because it's small range so you can just move the shoulder area ah, boom, give a punch huh? so the shoulder find the space and boom up cut already you see that that's why we said it is more important design for this close combat but of course you can be a little bit further distant it depends on the target where they move but mostly use this one but because it should this more power more control more further arm you have it's less control so you as you see the movement one is short distance huh? bah! very short the second one is very very high this is a little bit bigger and the third one even further this is more up cut more further so different range and usually use them is differently as well the area we're going to punch the aim area is from your stomach like I just mentioned should come is more stomach for up cut like this and other side of your body so when you go through there this is straight up arm stom stomach and this is a cross huh? and this is a cross from the side and this up cut most for your head for your chin area so you step like a bomb huh? the power is from ground up this is basically three gradually your body feel this movement understand the movement you must this movement then you can practice depends the situation you can change you can change use different steps to match the distance uh, to match this uh, the situations some important movement you you should uh, aware about is the shoulder and the hip how they work them together as a team so when i do up cut you notice my hip my shoulder they usually traveling together no you see most of the time traveling together so if i shoulder turn my hip follow and my hip uh, support my shoulder so when you do up cut don't worry about this yet you, you more concentrate to see my shoulder so it's traveling up cut so how your body work to support your punch no just only the punch say that punch like this i need you do the body move shoulder move that generate the most power and transfer the power to your fist or your palm uh, this is the power coming from more important on the shoulder work so even like i do that big punch or smaller punch see my my shoulder i demonstrate for you know shoulder move my arm bigger but the shoulder hip traveling the same <coughs> now this is motion a track huh? <coughs> generate the power push out okay if you're low you want to lower generate the power lower and up use the body drag it down 
generate power up. Then my hip, my heel is supporting as well. Hmm? Also, when you practice, think about uh, maybe it's hard to find the power where they're coming from. You think about it, uh, you grab something from up, throw up something. Okay, that's the power coming from. But when you throw, you're not going to throw up too high. So you throw some point. This is the point. You go stop, stop, stop there. So relax, stop there. So this is going to point. You're going to stop your pan. The power. You're going to fix the power on this, this range. Yeah? You don't want to go over too much. So. More efficient, more fast, more control your punch. I try to explain the the, the breeze how it is. So basically, when your preparation is inhale, okay. When you prepare, the shoulder move back. Inhale. When you go throughout, punch. Exhale. <laughs> See the breeze work. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> this is the power coming from. Take a smaller circle. Uppercut. Then step in. Prepare the shoulder. Move back. Step. Uppercut. Then step back. Preparation. Step forward. From this area. Uppercut. You can become fist or palm. Depends on you. When you finish. So these different steps give you ability to try in different situations. So now you follow me. Do slowly. So first drop down. So inhale, preparation. Exhale. <clears throat> the next one. Inhale. Step. Exhale. <clears throat> the third one. Inhale. Step. Exhale. <clears throat> then finish. So basically, think about when your preparation prepared is inhale. When you punch it, it's exhale to give you best power out of this. Okay, so this is the up cut for the Kung Fu training. Uh, but of course, different martial arts use different ways. But at the end of the day, the result should be the same. So you choose, you compare which is the movement is match your body, you feel comfortable, then you choose one. It's nothing right or wrong, but it's which one is more efficient for your body. Okay, so I hope you like it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video, we're going to share more of Kung Fu. Thank you. See you then. Ah.